In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the C-sharp major scale. Let's begin with rule number one. Draw the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. Rule number two, write the notes. We begin with C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. Write the intervals. Whole, whole, half step, whole, and now we begin the second tetrachord, whole, whole, half step. Once again, half steps are between three, four, and seven, and one. Since we are looking at the C sharp major scale, we need to place a sharp in front of C and at the end. C sharp is located here, and now we begin analyzing. C sharp to D sharp is a whole step. Therefore, we write a sharp in front of D. D sharp to E sharp it has to be the note E, therefore it's E sharp is a whole step. Now we need from E sharp a half step, and that becomes F sharp. Draw a sharp in front of F. F sharp, whole step, is G sharp. Another sharp in front of G. G sharp to A sharp. Draw another sharp in front of A. A sharp. This is important now. We need a whole step. A sharp, and it has to be the letter B. B sharp. Can't be C, it has to be B. Therefore, that is B sharp. Draw a sharp in front of B. And now we need a half step. B sharp to C sharp. The C sharp major scale has seven sharps. Order of the sharps are, as we memorized, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and B sharp. Seven sharps in the C sharp major scale, and this is how the C sharp major scale sounds.